I've uploaded in over a week and I'm sorry about that I, I plan to take two days off I said I would take one maybe two I didn't say like to you I told Nisha this and I ended up taking like almost a week uh, I wasn't I would not say I was burnt out but I was definitely getting to like a point where like I wasn't like excited to, to film or, or to vlog or anything and having several days off it, it brings some of that excitement back hey 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 no don't look that bring some of that excitement back and everything. And I think I just kind of needed that time and that space for a few days. So if I think as of this morning, I've gotten all the messages and DMs and stuff caught up, but if I missed it, if you had messaged us or comment, I missed it, I'm sorry. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This is Enzo. This is Lotus. Freak. <laughs> you get him? <laughs> All right. You working out, pup pup. You working out. Yeah. That's a good boy. Wow, you're so tired now. Are you tired? Gonna do story time, and you can fall asleep. Yeah. Take a little nappy. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna get into story time. I did one of these. I was gonna say a couple. Uh, couple uh, what's a couple videos ago? Maybe I'll tell them the story about how I went insane because it takes me two hours to shoot a video because you can't stop with the squeaky to squeak. You saw the title of this video. This is a story time of the pups defending us. This happened, unfortunately, I did not have any cameras with me that day. I don't even think I had my phone on me. It was really bizarre. So... If you have been watching the videos since like way back in like the beginning, we used to always go to the, not always, but we used to oftentimes go to the same park. We don't go to that park anymore. Uh, there's a few reasons. One is it's just, it's not that big. Um, and it gets kind of boring to be at the same place all the time. And you know, I assumed it would get boring to watch the same place all the time. But also one reason is the wifey is terrified to go to this park now. So what had happened was we were just looking to do like a little short run. I think maybe they, they had already been to the park that day or something, or it might've been really hot. So whatever the reason we weren't, we knew we weren't going to be there very long. We get out of the FJ, I, you know, like I said, we're not going to be there long. So I'm not taking any cameras or anything. And when we got there though, like we already told the pups we were going to the park. And when we got there, it was kind of busy. So we're like, you know, I don't really feel comfortable like having them off a leash or anything. This would be an excellent time to work on some just leash walking, just go for a walk. So, come on, I just want to finish the video. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, can do it too. I can do it too. I can do it too. I'm not afraid of you. Jeez. So we're like, you know, this would be a good time. We're just going to put them on the leashes and go for a walk. And you know what? Like, we never really, like, walk down sidewalks and stuff because there's not really, like, sidewalks on streets around us. So it's like, you know, let's just, like, not even walk in the park. We'll just go walking down the sidewalk and such or whatever. It's okay. So we do this, and we walk a little ways, and, um... I don't know how, you know, we didn't go that far and we turned around at some point, we're coming back to the park. And so I've made videos where like random lost stray dogs kind of have come up to us and such. And that's, this was one of those dogs. I mean, I know this dog has gotten loose multiple times. We're coming back and this house that's by the park that their dog always, their dogs always seem to get out we realized that their dogs are outside and we're like, you know, there's no fence. Uh, it's like, you know, are they on a leash? Is there like an invisible fence or something? Not really sure. I was like, let's get on the other side of the street 
We don't want to get too close to the house or anything. Plus, you know, Lotus is reactive and everything. So, yeah. So we cross the street and we're walking past this house. And I don't remember if Lotus barked a little bit or if they barked first. I don't remember. But next thing I know, those dogs come running full speed at us across the street and everything. I mean, thankfully no cars were coming. So it becomes very evident that there is no fence, there is no leash, there is no nothing. I can't remember if there was two or three of them. Gosh, this was so long ago. I know there was at least two because we got pinned down basically. So what happens is they come running and we happen to be walking by a car. So like, we like stay behind this car, this like parked car that's parallel parked on the road. And both dogs are, you know, like I said, I can't remember if there was two or three. I know there was at least two. They like come on both sides and they're just like full tilt, barking and running full speed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is gonna be a disaster. You know, I'm thinking like, how am I gonna get in between this? Because the last thing I want is any of our dogs to get into a fight. You know, and this is all happening within seconds, obviously. The wifey had Enzo. She had Enzo because we knew we were gonna be passing this dog, these dogs. So I had Lotus because Lotus might react. So I already had a hold of Lotus. Um, and you know, Enzo's not reacting until they come running full speed at us. So they come running full speed barking and Lotus is of course already barking at them. And when they come around that ends up like, I mean, they're like as close as I am to the camera right now. Here we are, these two dogs come running out. And what's shocking is like nobody's around somehow, like even though as busy as the park is and we're right next to it, like somehow nobody's like around, nobody's hearing this, nobody's seeing this. Shh. I'm gonna have to make so many cuts in this video. I've had, probably had to make so many cuts in this edit because Lotus just will not stop for some reason. And you, fishy breath. Um, thank you, yes, thank you, truce. So, like I said, we have both of them on a leash and there's like, the house that we're by has like a little, one of these like real little wall fences. I mean, it's like seriously like this big, like as tall as our couch or whatever. And we actually like in the commotion both Nisha and I like fall down basically. Cause like I'm trying to like get a hold of Enzo too to help her to make sure he's not gonna go. And um, you know, in the process she gets knocked down, she gets hurt. She has like, she had like bruises up her side and everything because it was like this like brick little fence thing, wall, little mini wall. So it was like this little brick wall or whatever. And she like fall, ends up like falling down on it in the commotion. And I'm just trying to hold on to both of them at some point for dear life because the last thing I want them to do is get into a fight. Thankfully, thankfully, I don't think those dogs wanted a fight. I think they realized like, you know, this is not a good idea because obviously Lotus is going crazy vicious barking, Enzo's doing the same, uh, letting them know like this is not okay. I don't know why those two, two dogs stopped. I don't know if they realized like, hmm, this is a battle we don't wanna take on or something. You know, huh, when we were up in our yard, they looked a little bit smaller because neither of those two dogs were even as big as Lotus. I mean, they were probably close, but and certainly not as big as Enzo. And you know, they come full tilt barking and everything. And when Enzo turned and started barking, like, like they took steps back. I would say at one point they were as close, like probably almost half the distance to us in the camera right now. And you know, they slowly backed up and there was really like nothing I could do. And that was the most terrible thing. You know, there's literally nothing I can do. All I'm trying to do is get in between them because I don't want them to get into a vicious fight. But if these owners aren't gonna come get their dogs, then there's nothing I can do. Finally, finally, the owners realize what's going on and like come out and come get them and like, and the thing that annoyed me the most out of this whole process is not one time did they say, oh, I'm so sorry. Not one time did they say, hey, are you okay? Not one freaking time did they show any bit of like remorse or anything. Uh, and I was so mad and I like told the guy, I was like, you are so lucky that I freaking love dogs because I would be calling the cops and getting these things ripped from you right now. But I'm just terrified that they'll just go to a pound and get, honestly, I'm afraid they'll 
end up at like a kill shelter or so. I don't even know if we have those around here, but like I didn't want something like that to happen. And again, does he like apologize? Is it no, he starts spouting off about, you know, oh well my kid has it was like his kid was he had like an autistic kid or something. It's like That's fine, like, and I can I can understand that that's probably very stressful. That doesn't, first of all, you should still apologize. Second of all, what does that have to do with keeping a, keeping your dogs in a fence? Put up a fence, put them on a leash. Don't let them go wandering outside. I mean, I don't understand what the two had to correlate with one another. And then to top it off, a couple days later, I, cause I was still, I still went back to this park for a little while and then I just finally gave up. But a couple days later, I'm there with Enzo and Lotus, I'm playing fetch. And the wife has the audacity to come out and come yelling down at us while we're leaving. And it was so funny, I might have this on film because I feel like I had the camera that day. I might have part of this on film. Uh, so I put Enzo and Lotus in a sit like 10, 15 yards behind me in the field because we were walking towards the FJ to get in the car. And she comes up like, you will not threaten my family and all this stuff. I was like, well, one, I didn't threaten your family. I actually, in fact, I said, it is because I love dogs that I'm not going to do anything. Like that's pretty much the opposite of a threat. Um, and again, she didn't apologize or anything. And she gave the whole spiel again about how, well, we have a kid that's autistic and it takes up so much time and energy. It's like, what does that have to do with locking your dog inside and not letting them roam free outside without a fence or a leash? I mean, I don't understand. Like, I, I, I don't know what it's like to raise an autistic kid. Uh, Nisha used to be a special ed teacher. I know from talking with her and stuff, like I, I know that's a lot and I know that's exhausting, but that doesn't change the fact that you should take care of your other responsibilities. I mean, I don't, I mean, what? So yeah, um, and I tell you what, when she came up and did that, I, it took everything in my being not to go to the cops at that point. Like I was like, you know what, screw it, we're going to the police station because I'm just, clearly they're not gonna get it. Um, it's just like, it's just so ridiculous, I'm so upset. Thankfully, neither pup got, you know, none of the pups got near each other. Uh, it was very clear that Neither Enzo or Lotus was going to let anything happen to us without fighting to the death, basically, which is something I certainly didn't want. Um, you finally being calm? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they definitely protected us, that's for sure. Um, you know, there's no doubt about that. And while I'm, I guess, happy to know that they would do that, I pray that that's never a situation that needs to happen um, because I don't look at them as my protectors. You know, if anything, I look at me as their protectors. You know, I don't want them to feel like they have to do put themselves in danger to protect me. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like the German Shepherd content. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one.